okay now we're going to do a few solved examples so we can improve your understanding of the topic so the first question is as follows if alpha and beta are roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 what is the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha squared plus beta squared and alpha cubed plus beta cubed. So how would we approach this problem? The first thing we know when we say that alpha and beta are roots of this equation here, we immediately know that the sum of the roots, that is alpha plus beta equals minus b over a and the product of the roots, that is alpha times beta is c over a. So we know two equations uh, in a straightforward fashion. So alpha plus beta equals minus b over a and alpha beta equals c over a. So now using these two values we need to compute the values of these two because once we know the value of alpha squared plus beta squared and alpha cube plus beta cube we will be able to write down the equation of which these two are the roots. So how do we go about this? So now we invoke the identity alpha plus beta the whole squared equals alpha squared plus beta squared plus 2 alpha beta. So it immediately follows from this that alpha squared plus beta squared would just be alpha plus beta whole squared minus 2 alpha beta. So alpha plus beta whole squared is minus b over a whole squared minus 2 times c over a. So this would be b squared over a squared minus 2c over a. Similarly, to compute the other quantity, which is alpha cubed plus beta cubed here, we can invoke another identity, which is alpha plus beta, the whole cubed is nothing but alpha cube plus beta cube plus 3 alpha beta times alpha plus beta. So from this, it is easy to observe that alpha cubed plus beta cubed is alpha plus beta whole cubed minus 3 alpha beta times alpha plus beta. So you have alpha cube plus beta cube is minus b over a the whole cube minus 3 times c over a times minus b over a. So this is minus b cube over a cubed minus or actually th there are two minus signs here. So this becomes a plus, this becomes 3bc over a squared. So now we know the value of alpha squared plus beta squared and alpha cube plus beta cube. So if, so now if gamma and delta are the roots of some quadratic equation, that equation is so the equation will be x squared plus um, gamma plus delta uh, x plus gamma times delta equals 0 actually this should be sorry this should be a minus sign here so if gamma and delta are the roots of some equation, then that equation is x squared minus the sum of the roots times x plus the product of the roots equals 0. Therefore, the equation whose roots are alpha squared plus beta squared, alpha cubed plus beta cubed will be. So therefore, the equation we are seeking is x squared minus, so now you have to add the two roots. So these are the two roots and these have to be added. So minus b squared over a squared minus 2 times c over a minus b cubed by a cubed plus 3bc over a squared times x. 
plus you need to now take the product of the two roots. So that is b squared over a squared minus 2c over a multiplied by minus b cubed by a cubed plus 3bc over a squared. This should be equal to 0. So this is the equation whose roots are alpha squared plus beta squared and alpha cubed plus beta cubed. So as you can see, the equation is really complicated and you can further simplify this equation to have a more simplified form and I leave that as an exercise. So I hope you were able to understand the concept of the sum and product of the roots and how you can derive a quadratic equation once you know the two roots or their sum and product. So let's move on to the second example that I want to show you. So this, so the question reads as follows. If a greater than 0 and a not equals 1, then comment on the roots, then comment on the roots of the equation 2 log a to the base x plus log a to the base a x plus th 3 log a to the base a squared x equals 0. So, in a property of the logarithmic function is you can convert the base in any given or you can convert the log in any given base to base uh, natural log. So, this equation can also be represented as 2 log a over log x. So, log a to the base x is nothing but log a over log x where both the logs here are to the base e. So, they are the natural logs plus log a over log a x plus 3 log a over log a squared x equals 0. So, now another property of the log function is that if you have the log of the product of two numbers, then it is equal to the sum of the logs of the two individual numbers or the sum of the logs of the two individual numbers. So, this equation can also be written as 2 log a over log x plus log a over log a plus log x plus 3 log a over log a squared plus log x equals 0. So, now we will at this point we will make a substitution. We will say let log x be y. So, let log x equals y and log a equals b. So, once we make this substitution here, so then this equation becomes 2b over a plus b over b plus y, sorry, this is 2b over y plus b over b plus y plus 3 times b over log a squared. So, log a squared equals twice log a. So, it becomes twice of log a which is b plus y equals 0. So, now by making these substitutions, you see that we have converted an equation which is looking pretty scary to something which we know is going to be in the form of a quadratic. So, now you can take the least common multiple of the three terms in the denominator and you can further simplify this under the condition that neither y equals 0 nor b plus y equals 0 nor 3 b plus y equals 0. And that is actually true because y is log x and you can say that log x is not equal to 0. So, that, that will be another condition in your equation. So, once you take the least common multiple, this equation would become So, this is the equation which we are seeking and 
if you were to go further and solve this, and uh, I'll just give you the answer here, and you can go and attempt this. What you will find is, if you simplify this quadratic and you've solved for y, you will see that y will either be minus b over 2, or y can be minus 4b over 3. And since y is equal to log of x, you can say that y y is equal to log of x, then you know that x can have two different values. So x is exponential of minus b over 2, or x is exponential of minus 4b over 3. So which means that the given roots, given equation has two real roots. So two real roots are possible.